Hey, do you rewind, uh, rewind and watch the video of that Indiana game over and over during the <laughs> offseason, Jalen? I used to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, that, that was a moment for you, wasn't it? I mean, what was it like to have four touchdowns yeah. in a game like that when the game's kind of on the line? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, it, felt, it felt real good, you know, yeah. especially to help the team the most I could. Uh, and especially scoring four touchdowns, you know, in one game. It just made me feel like, you know, I, I had finally accomplished, you know, what I, what I came to do and was to be, you know, a good Buckeye football player and help the team win. Yeah. Make an impact. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you sense your role and even the offense, y'all are kind of getting your act together as you head into Big Ten play. What, what do you sense coming out of Saturday that makes you, I guess, feel good or confident about things? Uh, I just sense that, you know, we, we can get better, way better. And that's, you know, that's the, a good thing about, you know, our offense is that we can get way better and we play, you know, decently well. And I think that, you know, at, as, as we keep working in the weeks, you know, to come and get better and better, I think we'd be hard to stop. You know, it's hard to imagine Cardell Jones underthrowing anybody anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, having to be fine on right. a 50-yard, 50 50-yard, 50 60-yard pass. I mean, do you feel like y'all were that close to, like, really hitting some big ones last – you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think, do you think you'll be different <clears throat> because of that, you know? I think, you know, we were, we were real close. And like you said, we had some, you know, underthrows and we had some drops. You know, I dropped one early. And, you know, that kind of sets the quarterback's confidence off so he doesn't know where to put it. So, you know, I put that on myself, especially early in the game, having to drop, you know. So now he doesn't trust the fact that I'm going to be there when the ball's there. So he's thinking about it. So, like, in, in these weeks, like I said, in the weeks coming, we prepare, you know, get the timing back and get the trust back between each other, and we'd be, we'd be all right. How do you feel the wide receiver group as a whole has performed in the first four, four games of the season? Uh, I think we, we, we haven't performed up to the ex expectations of ourselves or, you know, of everybody around us. I know uh, we we just had some <clears throat> early on. We had some struggles, you know, because some people, you know, had to miss, and we had to, you know, find out who was going, you know, step up and play. Now we're just trying to get our, you know, unity back. And, you know, and everybody as a whole can perform and you know well together. Going back to the underthrows, Cardale put the blame on himself. Mm -hmm. You you just took some of the blame. I mean, is it? That simple though that maybe it's just a timing thing that, that you guys are still kind of working out the kinks of um, some of these routes? Yeah, I think it is just it's more so a timing thing. You know, being in the actual game is different than practice because in the game, you know, you adrenaline rushing, you're excited and you just you just want to, you know, want to make that play. And, and I think we have to practice up to that, you know, potential as we have. And I think we, you know, as we get better in, in, the, in a few weeks to come, I think we'd be all right. Joe, do you, do you remember telling yourself in that Indiana game last year, though, the punt return kind of set it off, mm -hmm. you know, that somebody needs to make a play here. Do you remember thinking that thought? You understand what I'm saying? Because uh, yeah. it was 20 to 14, y'all were losing at home, you know. I you mean, know, it was. What, what were your thoughts, I guess, as you, as you look back on it, if you can remember? Uh, I think <clears throat> the Indiana was backed up in, in, into the end zone. Yeah. And I knew that uh, if the defense made this big stop, we would have momentum. And if I, if I ran this punt return back, you know, it would change the game. And, you know, I, we, I got, the, we got with the unit and just said, look, we got to change the game right here. I think we're going to get a good chance. And if we do, if we do that, you know, the game will go the whole different way. But if we don't, you know, you, you never know. So, you know, I caught the ball and I seen, you know, all the 10 guys in front of me working hard and blocking every man they could to get me in the end zone. And once that happened, I think, you know, we didn't look back from there. Jamal, I know uh, we've seen Braxton in practice to some degree back there practicing punt returns. Mm -hmm. You know, there was some talk with Coach Meyer, maybe Braxton would be involved in that at all. You know, is there any idea with you of like, hey, that's my thing. Like, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> you know, he's talking about the big plays you made last year. Yeah. Like, you know, do you like being punt returner? For oh, yeah, team? definitely. I think it's, you know, it's, it's an honor to be the punt returner. You know, a returner is kind of a special position on the team, I think, because not, you know, not too many people can do that. Uh, you know, punt returner is, is, you know, what I like to do, what I love to do, and, you know, but if, you know, he was that, you know, that guy that could take that spot and, and be better for the team, I'm all about that because at the end of the day, you know, the team is more important than myself, and if, if he can expand that role to a different level, then that's what it has to be, but, you know, I feel like we, <clears throat> we it's a competitive game, so, you know, whoever is, you know, playing the best at that, at that position will play. Did you make it clear to Braxton at all, like when you guys are back there practicing, like, hey, man, if you want to do this, you're going to have to get past me? <laughs> no, you know, I just, you know, I, help, I actually, you know, helped him to the most that I could because I wanted to see him, you know, do well. You know, I think that, you know, everybody wants to see him do well. And, and, and for him to be back there, you know, I'll just be, it's just another exciting weapon on the field. You know, if they, they put both of us back there at times, you know, and that worked out well too. But, I, you know, it's never anything like that. It's just, 
you know, we want the team to win, and whoever can help and make the team win at that position will play. We have seen you both back there at mm -hmm. the same time. We know you can throw. Right. We know Braxton can throw. Is there anything maybe that we could see down the line? <laughs> oh, well. You're allowed to say yes. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I think we, we've given up on that idea. Uh, that's kind of risky. You know, I, I, I've thrown two passes in my career at Ohio State, and none of them were completed. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so that probably is not the best decision. But you know, it, it, it's all fun. You know, we we try. You know, some things like there be verses and stuff like that. If if we were back there, you know, and teams will expect that. So it's not like I'm you know giving anything away. Um, anything can happen with you know two guys back there, especially two guys that can do you know many things. So you know we we plan on you know being the most exciting people back there, and if if we have to throw it, kick it, hand it off, you know we we try to make that happen. Do you, uh, do you, sense, do you sense any frustration with Braxton after this great first week he had? It's kind of not had the same production the last three weeks. Do you sense anything with him, or is he still the same guy? Oh, he's the same guy. You know, he's a competitor. Uh, I mean, he, everybody knows that. You know, he, he just wants the best, you know, for his team. And, and if he, you know, when he does when he contribute, you know, it's, it's just a plus for him. He, he's, just, he's a team player. He's selfless. You know, whatever he can do and whatever, you know, he sees others do, you know, he's, he's still always going to be happy. You know, of course, he wants to, you know, be, make that impact every game. But um, I know and he knows the switching from, you know, the position that he came from is, is, and playing wide receiver and ace back. It just it takes time, you know, and it, it you're not gonna get the ball every play, and that and that's what you know. If it, if it's anything that you struggle with from switching position, that's you know that's it, especially from quarterback, not not touching the ball every play. That's just the most frustrating thing from touching the ball every play than to touching it six or seven times. That's it, it's just different. Is there a sense among you guys that once once you do get to touch it, you've got to make something happen? I mean, with the comp, you know what I mean, with the talent level on this yeah, team, yeah. and and how do y'all work through that? I guess you know, of like just playing. Confident and comfortable as opposed to pressing. Uh, you just got to find your role. You know, Coach Meyer does a great job of you know making us put the team before ourselves. You know, it's more so if, if I feel like and we all feel like if the team has success, then each player in, in itself will have success. And so you you do everything you can you know to make the team win. If that's touching the ball, blocking, and when you do you know when you do touch the ball, you do want to make the most of it. But it's kind of what's expected. You know, because if they give you the ball, then they trust. That you make the play, you know, to, to, to help the team. Having to miss that first game, how tough was that for you, Jalen? Well, it was very tough. Yeah. You know, it's very you tough. Feel you let the team down. I mean, what, what 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 were your thoughts? I guess you know. You know, you know, I think I let you know I let a lot of people down, but you know, I moved on from that, and yeah. we've all moved on from that. It's, you know, humbling experience, but you know, we like I said, we moved on, and hopefully, we can continue this season with success. When you, you, you look at these guys, and, and obviously. <coughs> 25 years that they've been undefeated, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason of late, they've played you hard. I mean, it, it, you know, when you see what they've been able to do offensively and whatever over there with Sudfeld and everything, right? Have, have these guys got your attention? I mean, uh, there, there's no uh, taking them lightly, right? Oh, definitely not. You know, each game and it's a Big Ten, so it's a one-game season. You know, so each game we go into, you know, we prepare the best that we can, and I think the the, the most prepared team will win the game. And you know they they've come in they four and zero they're not gonna not play hard just because you know we're coming it's they're gonna play actually they're gonna play harder you know it's gonna be a great crowd for them and I think that you know with us being there in in this environment you know it's gonna be a good game. Does that get your juices going a little more from an offensive guy seeing that they you know lit it up and actually their number is a little better than you guys? Oh definitely you know like we we like everybody knows we struggled on offense you know this year. But like I said, you know, we work hard and, and I think we're going to be back on, on top of the Big Ten soon.